Good evening, City Council. I'm Jeff Brady of 523 uh, 8th Street in Hermosa Beach. On January 27, 2015, a City Council member said the following in reference to a City Council closed session, which happened in the upstairs conference room here in City Hall. And I quote. Raised the issue during the closed session meeting that under California Government Code 54957.6, it requires that prior to closed session, the legislative body of the local agency shall hold an open and public session in which it identifies its designated representatives. That's the code section I referred to the city attorney before our meeting. Um, I felt it was appropriate for us to have an actual uh, public uh, meeting such as this one with over 100 people here to address this issue so I have everything in public. Uh, that was my intention. I made a motion at the beginning of uh, that meeting to continue the meeting to have it at a public session. Uh, the motion was seconded by the mayor pro tem. Uh, this was an open session, not closed session, uh, according to our city, the way the city attorney interpreted it. Uh, but there's no other um, motions, and therefore the motion failed. Um, it's my position that this action should have been taken here, now, today, in front of you guys, in front of the TV not in a conference room upstairs with the door half open and call that an open session. I don't think that was an open session. I think it's a misinterpretation of the government code. And I think it's not right for our residents to be doing something. You know, you hear about politicians doing behind closed doors and negotiating and doing things behind your backs. And this is the first time since I've been elected a little over a year ago that that's how I felt. We're sitting in a room with the door half open and our city attorney tells us this is an open session. It was not an open session in my interpretation, so I took the position I'm going to abstain from any a taking any action. Um, I think that uh, that meeting was inappropriate. I think it should have been here. It should have been properly noticed. Everybody knows what we're doing. Have people uh, be allowed to provide public input and then take a motion. And for that uh, reason, I abstain from, uh, from the motion that was uh, taken upstairs in the described as an op a public meeting, but in my opinion, it was a closed session meeting. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. End quote. I agreed with that sentiment when it was first expressed, and I agree with it today. In fact, the argument appeared to be so persuasive as to change the way the council does its closed sessions, namely starting them here in chambers before retiring upstairs. Fast forward to last Wednesday when a special session of the city council was held at a private residence of a council member. I do not know if the residence is ADA compliant. I was there at seven o'clock to provide comments similar to these. At least I think I was at the right place because I didn't see any signage, any indication that a city meeting was about to occur, or even a house number on the strand side of the building. Now, if this particular council member was so moved by the lack of openness provided by a partially open door in City Hall, what would he or she think of a closed door at a private residence? Needless to say, I believe my right to observe, comment, and otherwise participate in our local government was limited by this action. As a person who is subject to the Brown Act myself, I understand that there are certain provisions that can be difficult to follow, but not this. As it says on the top of every Washington Post, democracy dies in darkness. When conducting city business, transparency is paramount, and public officials such as you must strive to prevent even the perception of impropriety. Thank you. Thank you.